Hey everyone, it's Jay again, and I'm back with more Miskirts Volcano Island. And before I do anything, before I even start this video, I want to say, Clavager, right now, for the next probably 20 hours by the time this video goes up, will be in the Daily Arena. Clavager, yes, Clavager, very good Miskirt. Uh, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Here's Clavager. I'll show you her skills here. Uh, Gust of Mending, of course, Unrelenting, uh, does, like, a lot of damage and, you know, 100% accuracy, um, raises her speed by 5, increases her health by 10, pretty awesome attack. Schooled, uh, not so awesome, but lowers the enemy's speed by 20, and that's pretty cool, and it has a pretty decent amount of damage, 31 damage, that's not anything to shake a stick at, you know, so to speak. Uh, Durendel, which some people like to use, I think it's kind of a uh, kind of a waste here. It um, raises your elemental and physical defense by 15, but lowers your elemental attack, your elemental and excuse me, your, your elemental and physical attack by eight, and your speed by 15. So I don't know. That's up to you. Um, she has both confusion immunity and sleep immunity and negate element and laser focus to raise her accuracy. All these are awesome. All those are great, awesome skills. And then she has, you know, debaser, hit, swell, windstream, and breeze. So nothing at the beginning, but right after, um, from laser focus on, it, her skills are pretty freaking amazing. And she has decent stats, too. I don't even know if I expert trained her. And she has almost 100 and everything. And let me see her in the book here. Wind. Let's go down a couple pages here. And see if I can find her. There you are. So max, max, strong, strong, max, moderate. So not terrible stats. Three max, two strong, and a moderate. And uh, her speed is actually pretty good. And, and it, it doesn't matter that it's moderate because... She has so many, you know, she has that skill, her final attack that increases her speed, and an attack that lowers the opponent's speed by a drastic amount, 20. So, her speed being moderate is not really an issue. Uh, another thing that I really wanted to talk about is in the shop, it just came out today, is Dark Goldie. Also, there's Gekoid, which I have no idea what that is, and Ruhog, which as soon as I get 100 more gems, I'm probably just going to go ahead and pick up. Oh, Surgeant is in the uh, store for 400 platinum. That's pretty cool. I kind of, I kind of really want that Miskirt, to be honest. I know he's not that amazing, but the fact that he has a elemental attack that does 40 damage makes me really want him. Um, so Lee Casanova is still nine dollars. I'm really tempted on buying him. I have nine dollars on me right now, and if I wanted to, I could buy him. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it. Um, so, Elite Alpha and Elite Cad Bunny are still $9. Clavager's 5 bucks right now, which is really cheap, but like I said, she is also in the Daily Arena right now, so if you, you know, don't want to spend the 5 bucks, she's in the Daily Arena right now. Go get her for free. 10 wins. You can do it. I mean, really, you can do it. Uh, really, it doesn't look like there's anything else that's out, but still, those first three Mitzkirts are pretty cool. Don't really know why I'm going to the end here, but I am, and I did. And so, yeah, Dark Goldie is pretty cool. I'm going to get Ruhog, even though I have no idea what it is or what it does. I want Dark Goldie. I do. I want it. But I don't want to spend 10 bucks, so I might not get it. <laughs> um, as you guys know, I really like Beam. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the difference between Beam stats and Dark Goldie's Dark Beam stats. So... Beam, 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 beam. There you are, beam. I found it pretty quickly. Uh, max, weak. Max, 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 weak. So, weak elemental attack, max everything except for speed and then elemental attack. That's pretty freaking awesome, in my opinion. That's pretty cool. That's, I mean, yeah. That's, that's some good stats. Really. That's good stats. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at dark beam who I do not see in the book, which kind of makes me sad. Hmm. I wonder if it's because I haven't seen him yet in a fight, or haven't unlocked him yet. 
Oh, whoa, I almost clicked on that. It's possible that if you haven't even seen the miscarriage, it won't appear. Okay. Okay. Um, still. Still very, very cool. Uh, another thing, this is might be a really short episode, to be honest. It might even be a, be a half episode. Um, I want to know, what are your, how are you guys doing in the uh, arena tournament? Because there is less than 24 hours remaining. By the time this video goes up, there might only be about 20 to 19 hours remaining. Uh, I'm doing pretty good. I'm in the top 1% in the daily arena. You know, rank 117, was 116 apparently a second ago. Uh, top 2% in the battle arena, so I'm good there. Dropped two spots recently, which is whatever. And uh, I am in the top 5% in the Platinum Arena, but I'm pretty sure I'm close to the top 4%. Let's bring up the uh, calculator here. I think I'm closer to the top 4% than I am to the top um, 6% at least. Let's see, 19,120 times 0 0.05 is 956. Wow, even, which is pretty awesome. So I'm uh, 142 ranks in the clear for that way. Um... And 19,120 times 0 0.04 is 764 minus 814. So I'm 50 ranks away from four, the top 4%. If I really wanted to, I could probably get myself to that top 4% and I'd feel really safe because I'd be like, all right, you know, 1% ahead. They'd have to go through the entire 5% first before, you know, they could get to me. Uh, and the, and the, if the top 5% are moving up, that's fine. I'll just move down to this bottom 5%. Or whatever, you know, it'd still be in the five percent. But I think I'm not going to do that. I think I'm just going to keep it like this. Um, I'll go to work, you know, later. I'll come back probably around 2 a.m. my time with 12 hours remaining, and I'll check. And if I'm like 30 ranks away from the, you know, from being silver, I'll probably do another fight. But if I'm like 50 to 70 ranks away from silver. I'll probably just keep it, because I don't want to risk it, I don't want to accidentally risk losing, because I do want this miscrit. I have no idea what it is or what it does. It looks like a water miscrit to me. Uh, this one looks like a either a nature or a lightning miscrit, and this definitely looks like a fire. They could all be dual. It could be fire, earth, nature, lightning, and I guess water, wind. They could all be dual miscrits, for all I know. Uh, and I'm still really looking forward to Blightfall, so... Uh, I don't, I'm not really in the mood to do any fights right now. Uh, I do want to buy some stuff. So, let's go do that. I realize that I'm kind of, <coughs> I don't like to run low on items, and I have plenty of gold, over half a million. Uh, I have plenty of mythical heals, plenty, plenty of magical heals, but I want to make sure that I'm good on everything else, like negate elements. Uh, even though I haven't had to use them very often, I want to have at least like at least 100 on me at all times. So, um, I have 50, so let's buy 50 more. So, that'll knock me down to half a million, exactly, pretty much. Uh, minor enchants, I have enough. 42, 33... Uh, 38. I don't really need a lot of these, so I'm not going to buy any if I don't need them. 35. Let's buy a 15 of you to keep me at above 50 there. Uh, you know, the heels are they have at least 50 of. Uh, 36. I don't need 72. Actually, I have probably too many of those. 48. Uh, 36. 32. I like to have at least 50 of the heels, so let's do that. Powerful Enchant. I almost have 100. That's pretty cool. Powerful Defiance. Again, almost 100. Powerful Toughen. 75. 72. 39. Let's buy 11 more. Massive Enchants. Almost 100 of those. I might sell some of these down to 50, but not today. 87. 53. Uh, 101, very cool, 107, 134, 144, 53, 199, nice, 176, 186, 35, hmm, 
99, let's make that 100. And I have 128. So let's buy 15 of you. And let's buy a couple of you, probably. Um, let's buy. That would knock me to 45. Uh, so, how about this? Yeah, okay, 150 is probably good. Okay, so, um, spent about 80,000 gold, uh, but, you know, still have 444,000. For some reason, as long as I'm above, like, 350,000, I'm happy. Um... And four, 445,000 really isn't that bad. I was, I was pretty happy with my half a million gold there, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so there's not really much more for me to go over. I would really like to get Dark Beam, but I'm not willing to spend the 10 bucks on him, uh, especially when I don't really... Oh, wait, I can just do this. Oh, okay, here we go. Here's the stats. Moderate Elemental Attack, so his... Okay, so so his his elemental attack and speed went from weak to moderate, and everything else stayed the same. So, unless his abilities changed even just the slightest, that's not a huge improvement, really, to be honest. Um, I would have rather his physical attack and his physical defense gone to elite, and kept his elemental attack and and speed to weak than this, um, so I don't know if I will get him. If I get him, I'll probably just get one just to have it, um, but I'm not going to spend 10 bucks for him, unless I find out that his Thorns is healing, like, 25 and his Synergy is still 10 or something, or his Synergy went up to 15 and his, or, you know, Driller is healing 10 damage, then maybe I'd actually be like, yeah, alright, I'll get you. But besides that, uh, doesn't really seem too worth it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here. Uh, sorry for the short video, but I'm definitely going to have a longer video tomorrow with the release of the Arena Tournament Awards. Again, please let me know how you guys are doing below. Are you guys gold in all three? Silver in all three? Tell me what's going on, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.